Today we are celebrating Encanto with this Isabella doll cake that I covered in buttercream. That's right, that's not fondant, that is buttercream. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Quali Pops. My name is Diane Guerrero and today we're celebrating my movie Encanto. <laughs> I love being different celebrities, it's my favorite. So I already made a Mirabelle doll cake and I actually had to reshoot that whole video because I kept calling her Maribel instead of Mirabelle. Oh my gosh. It took forever. And I wanted to continue celebrating Encanto, so we're making an Isabella doll cake as well. I covered it in buttercream. I had to teach myself a new trick, and I'm just really excited to share it with you guys. So let's get started. Now for this cake, I'm using a 10 inch vanilla cake and I added some pink, blue, and purple sprinkles to represent the colors of flowers that Isabella likes to create. I'm adding buttercream in between each of my layers and I'm gonna be stacking a cake that I created in my doll cake pan on top. Now just like my Mirabelle doll cake, I only filled my doll cake halfway up because I wanted to create the bottom of the dress with my 10 inch cake. Now if you remember with my Mirabelle doll cake, I had to remove the center layer of the cake that I had made with my doll cake pan. The cake was too high and it went above her waist and I need the cake to fall below her waist. So when I was stacking the cakes for my Isabella doll cake, I just removed that layer completely. But I ended up using it to fill in the gaps between the 10 inch cake and the cake that I created in my doll cake pan. So I ended up using all of my cake. After I finished stacking all of this cake, I started to carve. Now when I'm using fondant, all of my flowy details come at the end when I'm covering the cake. But because I'm using buttercream, I wanna make sure that I have all of my flowy elements before. So I'm carving out just like slopes that I'll start at her waist and end at the bottom of her gown. I'm just gonna do that all the way around my cake. After that, I added an MVP coat. I'm calling the crumb coat the MVP coat. Without the crumb coat, you could have a crumb disaster at the end. So thanks crumb coat, you really are the real MVP. When I was finished with my MVP coat, I put my cake in the fridge, I let it set, and then I started to add my final layer of buttercream. I'm using a lavender purple that matches the dress that she wears in the movie. I'm just gonna work it all the way around my cakes, making sure I count for all of the slopes and curves and flowiness that I added at the beginning. Then I put it in the fridge, let it set up again, took it out and placed my Isabella doll in the middle. I had to wrap her hair up. It's so long and I didn't want it to like touch the buttercream because then it would get all sticky and messy and I really wanted to return these dolls. I was like trying to keep them as clean as possible. <laughs> that Walmart wouldn't find out. <laughs> I have so many dolls I have no idea what to do with them so I'm just gonna try to return the ones that I use. <laughs> After I placed her in the middle, I added a piece of fondant to create the top of the gown. I'm just gonna blend this into the buttercream as well. Fondant is an amazing tool for details and it makes creating the top of this gown extremely easy. It saved me a lot of time. Isabella's dress in the movie has three layers of fabric and if I were working with fondant, it'd be really easy to create that with more layers of fondant. But this is buttercream, so I had to think of a different way to go about it. I took my lavender buttercream, and piped the line halfway up the gown and just wrapped it all the way around the cake. Then with a paintbrush, I blended the top of that line to the rest of the cake. So it looks like there's a second piece of fabric on top. And it worked, it looked so good. Oh my gosh, can't believe I did that. Once I finished creating the second layer, I did the exact same thing with the third layer. I just piped a line closer to her waist, took my paintbrush and blended it into the rest of the cake. After that, I placed my cake into the fridge. I took it out, I smoothed out more of the texture, and then I added a very thin layer of buttercream with a paintbrush. You kind of have to do this because some of the buttercream gets discolored when you're working with it. But this makes it so I have my nice flat texture and I have a nice clean coat of color. After that, I let Isabella's hair down. I had to work so fast. I had to make sure that the buttercream stayed solid so that it didn't get in her hair. Walmart can't know that this doll was in a cake. <laughs> now I'm using fondant to create sleeves. I'm also adding her neckline to match the dress that she wears in the movie. After that, I added fondant flowers to the side of the dress and just had them climbing up the gown. I was actually going to create these flowers with buttercream and my mold, but it would have taken forever to create all of these flowers. So using fondant was the easiest way to do it, but if you've got the time, 
Hey, by all means. I filled in some of my flower gaps with a little bit of my buttercream and voila, my Isabella doll cake was complete. It looks sick, right? I love the technique that I use on this. I can't believe I figured out how to create layers of fabric with just buttercream. When I was shooting the pictures for this cake, I made sure that Mirabelle was in the back. <laughs> She's like standing in the shadow of her sister. Oh. <laughs> Oh, her life sucks. <laughs> but it's okay, you're gonna be the next Abuela, that's fine. Now let's talk about Isabella. The biggest impact that Isabella had on me was the fact that her skin is so dark and she's considered the beautiful, perfect sister. Growing up, I always had problems with the color of my skin and thinking that I was like too dark and somehow that was wrong, which is nonsense. Even in like Filipino TV shows, a lot of the actors are light skinned, so I, I, I didn't even really see myself in Filipino shows, which is what I am. Like, it was so weird. So it just made me really happy to see that dark skin being portrayed as beautiful. And when I was cutting down all of the footage for Isabella, I was just singing brown skin girl in my head. Brown skin girl. It was just like so cool. <laughs> now I decided to make Isabella I knew this was gonna happen because they're still doing construction. Now, before I saw the movie, I knew I was going to be making Mirabelle and Isabella. Just Mirabelle was the lead character and Isabella, I just love the floral print. But after watching the movie, they're not even my favorite characters. Louisa. Louisa is the best. So I can't make doll cakes without making a Louisa doll cake. That just, that doesn't feel right. However, I cheated a little bit. You see that slice that I just cut out? I put it back, I took my Isabella doll out, and I used the same cake to create Louisa. And I'll show you it in part two. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you, I'll see you very soon. Bye. Covering a cake with fondant and covering it with buttercream, it's like so opposite. When I'm covering my doll cake with fondant and I want it to look like fabric blowing in the wind, I add texture afterwards with another layer of fondant. But with buttercream, I can't really do that, so I had to carve the texture into the cake at the beginning. Which is not hard, it's just different. So I learned something new. I wanted my gown to look like there was a second layer of fabric on top. So I piped out a line of buttercream and then blended the top of that line to the rest of the gown with a paintbrush. I actually added a third layer of fabric the same way. And the results are fantastic. It looks like fondant, but it's not. So Isabella is an incredible and important character. Incredible because her powers are just phenomenal and important because of what she represents. You know, growing up, I always saw my skin tone as a negative. But Isabella, her skin is dark and she is seen as the beautiful sister in the family. How empowering is that? I'm excited for kids who are gonna see characters like this and not have all of like the emotional baggage that I'm now dragging around as an adult. <laughs> yeah, you guys are so lucky. Now when I was shooting the pictures for this cake, I made sure that Mirabelle was in the back. <laughs> She's like standing in the shadow of her sister. Oh, <laughs> oh her life sucks. <laughs> but it's okay, you're gonna be the next Abuela, that's fine.